Hello fellow zookeepers, welcome to Planet Leafy. Hey there, welcome to chapter 5 of Sergei de Maizu. Okay, so another bit of a long build as we do some landscaping. Now, what you'll notice is that I've taken some wood and coloured it to the same colour as the kind of bleached decking pathway and I'm slanting it so that it kind of blends together and it creates a nice curve raised bedding area. Um, now I'm not covering it with plants when I'm finished, it actually gets covered with grass and I'll repeat the process um, for the whole of that north end of the lake. When it all comes together, it actually blends very nicely. And what it does is it creates a, a kind of perspective where you have to look elsewhere. So it, although it feels finished, you're actually, your eye actually does wander towards the aviaries and what's being built for this episode, the iguana area. I'm going to do something slightly different again for this video is rather than try to talk for the whole video um, just at certain intervals I'll come in um, and mute the music down and just uh, talk about a few things. I'm also trying a new piece of software out for my video editing on this particular video. I've been using an open source one and wasn't having much success with the volumes of music as you probably noticed from chapter 4 um, that piece of software actually only let me go down to, by percentages so I could only the minimum I could do was a 10% of the, of the music volume and that was it um, I've now switched over to DaVinci Resolve and touch wood um, it seems to be a hell of a lot better it's Similar, I suppose, to Premiere Pro. I've not used Premiere Pro for a couple of years just because I can't afford it. Um, but this DaVinci Resolve is free and apparently it's a professional colour grading piece of software, but it also happens to have really good editing and audio editing in it. Um, so let's hope that moving forward we can get some better sounding videos. Once again, you'll see that I've been using the circle motif. I'm probably going to experiment 
with circles throughout the park. Um, and I'm also going to try and do some elevations so that we get different terrains, different fields as we go through. I'm sort of thinking of giving up the idea of making this about uh, setting the Philippines and just making it generically Asian Pacific Rim somewhere. Um, so that way I can utilise a lot of the modern architecture that I, uh, or the modern design that I actually want to try and use. Um, that doesn't mean that I won't use some traditional stuff in there, um, but I'm enjoying experimenting with these circles and um, how they lend themselves to being interpreting different spaces. In the previous video, I did a huge thank you list. Um, in this video, I've got to do a shout out to my nephew, Will Joe, who lives in Taiwan. Um, I don't get to see him very often, but we were talking about gaming and I was telling him about this series. And he's already started following me on the proviso that I gave him a shout out. So shout out to you, Will Joe, and thank you for subscribing. Now there's a bit of a cheat going on here. I'm, I do two enclosures um, for this episode, one of which is being built now, and that's the Meerkat. Um, I was going to use the Nexus Mod Meerkat by Nice900, but then I realised it's actually a replacement, not a standalone mod. Um, so for now, this is an implied exhibit, but if the rumours are true and we're getting Meerkats in the next frontier, animal pack or game pack um, then I will add these them to this at a later stage. And now on to what I'm actually thinking is becoming, or is, has become, kind of like the key animal focal point for this area at the end of the restaurant terrace. 
and that is The Marine Iguanas by Leaf. Um, you can download this from Nexus Mods, I'll put the link in the description below. But these are absolutely amazing. So we're not actually tied to having iguanas in exhibit boxes now. We can actually put them into an enclosure. Now the concept for this enclosure um, was one of my own sign. It was in my head. I wanted to have a, a pool area for them to swim in that you could see them swimming. But also have a raised area for them to run around in and then a hidden area for them to go to sleep in which you could also look in and I managed to make that work and also made it so that the zookeeper can actually get round nearly everywhere so I'm very 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 happy not only with the enclosure but also um, the iguanas that have gone in them um, I might put a couple more in by the next episode just to let you know uh okay i will speak to you again in the real time part
and we're back. So uh, this is just going to be a very short brief. So these are the marine iguanas. As you see, they're using the whole of the enclosure quite happily. They are designed, um, I can't remember who the original design was, but he, he cracked um, the green iguana from the exhibits and Leaf took that model and then ran with it and created this amazing little um, marine iguana. Um, they're based off the Nile monitor so they need the Nile monitor um, I can't get the words out but they need the, <coughs> the all the things that a Nile monitor would need. Um, you can download them from Nexus Mods um, go to the Planet Zoo area and you'll be able to find them. Okay, that's me done. I shall see you all again soon. Bye. If you've enjoyed my video, please like if you want, subscribe and leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching. Bye.